All right, this is Ryan with Game Room Solutions, and I want to take a second. I got a couple aim track. These are from ArcadeGuns.com, um, and show you how to configure these for House of the Dead. So there is a, a program that you can get for the Ultimark. There's actually one on the Arcade Guns that does the same thing. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is open that program, and you'll see here that I have some options where I can pick different devices. Device 1 says firmware, so that means it's one of my two guns here, and this is very important. You want to set it to intelligent, and then on the trigger you want it to say mouse left. On the off screen, so that's when you shoot off the screen, to reload mouse right. And then I do 3-1 and 3-1. Uh, so I'll go down here and select device 2. And you see it's also green, and I have the same settings here. Mouse left, mouse right. 3131. Three, now sometimes your devices you might have to hunt around here and keep clicking. If you click one that's not there it'll turn up red and say no device. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that if if you have two guns that they're showing up as two different devices here. Um, and then you can also change those device numbers. So if you're having problems a lot of times you want to just go ahead and change it to be on the first couple devices. Um, the other thing you can do to check and see which one it is, you can hit sensor view, and then you can just wave your gun around. Oh, wrong one. See, that's how it'll tell you if you got the right one or not. And as you do it, there's a faint red. Um, oh, wait. Actually, I'm on device three there, so you see how that's when I was showing that. So I'll go back here and select device two. And now I should be able to grab... And again, that way I can tell which gun I'm supposed to be using here. So that's how you can check the sensor. Uh, and again, that'll be for each device. Um, if you hit calibrate, it'll go up into the, the, you'll see crosshairs go to the top left. You'll just take that gun, pull the trigger there. It'll do it in the top right, and then it'll do it down in the middle, and that's how you calibrate your gun. And you'll want to do that for each one the first time. After you do it the first time, as long as you don't move your sensor on top of your TV or your monitor around too much, you should be okay. All right, um, so I'll have links to all this as well. But So that's the first step, very important. If you don't have it set up similar to that, um, it's not going to work. And you will spend hours and hours and hours trying to figure it out. The next thing, there's a troubleshooting tool that'll help with House of the Dead, so I'm going to open it, and again, there'll be a link to it. It's very important here that you make sure and set it to Dual Act Labs PC USB light guns. You don't want to set it to the TV version. Um, and then you'll want to select, there's going to probably be two that just have a bunch of long strand of numbers. That's actually the mice ID, so you just want to pick two different ones of those. It might be in reverse order, but you'll be able to tell pretty quick, so I have two of those picked. Next thing you want to do is hit games, and then on your House of the Dead, you're going to want to make sure that it's enabled as I select each one of these, and then you can double click them as well, and it'll open up, and you can hide the gun sight or auto reload if you want to. This is how I have all of mine set up. So once you have all three of those enabled, as well with those options, and you have the gun set up. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually go into Hyperlaunch. So I'm going to open that up. And so you'll see here on the left hand side I actually have PC games. And I'm going to go to Modules. And you'll see there's a couple. These are, these are stock modules. I select the PC Launcher and then Edit Global Module Settings. And then you want to go to ROM Settings. This is where you can actually add PC games. Uh, a trick here that took me a while to figure out is this bar sometimes, I don't know if it's going to do it now, but sometimes there's it doesn't look like anything's there and you have to move your mouse until you see it and you can drag it down to see what's there. But um, just to show you this here, so I have the three games there, House of the Dead 1, 2, and 3 with some different um, settings here. So for uh, House of the Dead 1, the application's actually going to call this... Um, you know the the dot bat file which I'll show that in a second and then it's also going to call this troubleshooter file that I created so let me um, let me show that so that's in it says uh, 
first one's in my ROMs PC games. ROMs PC games. House of the Dead 2. So I'll show this troubleshooter file first. It's an auto hotkey file that I made. Um, it's really simple. Edit script. And all it's going to do is make sure that it runs that troubleshooter program, the exe file uh, that we ran while ago. You just want to make sure that that service is running so it, it catches it whenever you boot this game. So that's all that that does. And the next thing is just the um, uh, Theo.bat. So that's in the, oh yeah, back in the House of the Dead one. So this is the game we're going to be playing. And then there's a bat file in here. right here. It's a batch file. And that's just uh, telling it to essentially play this and play the game. Um, and I'll show these in a minute how they work. Alright, so the next thing we'll show here is for the House of the Dead 2. Oh, the only other thing is exit method on this is just default. So if you hit escape, it, it'll actually go out on that game. So in House of the Dead 2, you'll see here, one, it's running that same file, Troubleshooter, just to make sure that thing's open in the background. And then it's just running the House of the Dead 2 exe file. And the exit method is default. House of the Dead 3 is a little bit trickier. Um, so you'll see here, I'm, I'm running through my program files, Sega House of the Dead exe, and I'm running the House of the Dead 3 PC exe. Um, over here I'm running process close application because that just does not like when you hit escape. Um, so I actually have it too where my joy to key I can hold down the escape button and it'll do alt F4 to kill it. Um, the other thing is I have a pre-launch script and then a post-launch script. The reason why is for House of the Dead 3 it runs through a loader. If you're familiar with Daphne, it kind of does the same thing. And in order to bypass that, you have to set a registry showing that you've already played it. So if I look in this um, in this folder here, so if I go um, C, Program Files, Sega, House of the Dead, uh, and you'll see here there's two different of these auto hotkey files, and I'll post these out. Uh, just so people can look at them or at least the text but so the first one is the house of the dead exe that's the one that's going to launch first so house of the dead exe so we'll uh, take a look at that one so what it's going to do is it's going to write that registry key to say that it's been played so it doesn't launch the uh, the loader it'll just go straight in the game and then also again it's going to make sure that the troubleshooter is running so I have it set to to do that and then wait five hundredths of a second and then the post launch it's actually uh, gonna close the loader so I'll show that here this one House of the Dead 3 that's this one right here and um, that one just says process close House of the Dead EXE so essentially that's going to, to close the loader and just bypass to the game um, the, the other thing that's key on these is, let me go back in there, you want to make sure everything is set up to keyboard, which sounds crazy, but um, it's not going to work if you have it set up to light gun or any of the configuration, so I'll just go back into that Sega, we'll go double check those. Um, so if I actually run the launcher here, it'll pull up, and I want to go into controller settings, you want to make sure both of those are set to keyboard. And, and, and those scripts will bypass the screen. That's the whole point of them. Um, so now if I go back out, let's go double check our other ones too. So PC, oh no way, ROMs, uh, PC games, House of the Dead 2. So you can see there's a config file in there, so I'll double click it. You can see both of those are set to keyboard. And then the same thing for House of the Dead 1, if there is a way to configure it. Uh, House of the Dead 1, I'll actually show you when we boot the game. We'll go ahead and boot the game now. So I'm going to pick House of the Dead and the launch button. So on this, it does go ahead and launch this screen. I haven't figured out how to get rid of this screen. It shows like uh, 
just which driver you're going to use. It's really not that big of a deal because all I have to do is just press enter and it'll boot straight into the game. If you try to bypass that, the graphics quality is really messed up. It's like it doesn't know which driver you use. So you can see here, uh, one thing that's kind of weird on this is you use the joystick and I could just go arcade and hit enter and now I can use the guns. But I'm going to go ahead and show you here and go into the options. So the other ones we already configured, but we haven't this one yet. Controller config. And you'll see there I'm on a keyboard, one player and keyboard two. So it's the two different keyboards, but they're both set to keyboards. And again, that's key. This thing won't work. You'll spend hours, days, weeks trying to figure that out. So I'm going to go ahead and exit and then exit. And I'll just show you that the game does work and we'll test the other two as well. So I'm just going to go into arcade mode here. And again, we sell all these parts, uh, LEDs, all that kind of stuff, kits on our website, GameRoomSolutions.com. So you can see here, I'm going to press hold for fire. I'm going to press start on the two player. You'll see him join. This is I pick up this gun and blow this dude away. It's on auto reload, but you can see I only have four bullets. I'll shoot off the screen just to show the reload works too. So I'm going to shoot off the screen. And then... Uh, the other gun here, just to show that. So you can blow that guy away. Do the same thing. So that one's working. I'm gonna hit escape. Uh, exit. And then again on this one, I'll just go. I probably should set this up for Alt F42. Actually, I can probably just hold down this button. Yeah. See, I have it uh, where you can hold down a button for. I don't know. It's like a little longer than half a second. And it'll do Alt F4 just to kill it. All right. So that one's good. Let me uh, show you House of the Dead 2. Again, these are all the PC versions of these games. Alright, so I'm going to hit the launch. And this is just testing it, so it'll be within hyperspin. It'll work the same way. It's just set to use hyperlaunch. So, uh, press start button. I'm just going to hit arcade mode. You can see it says hold your fire on the left hand side. On the right, I'm just going to hit start. And you can see there it says hold your fire. So now both players are ready. So now I can start wasting these guys. Oh, it reloads, so shoot off the screen. We saw there it reloaded. Yeah, just to show that the other gun, the white gun's working as well. Shoot off the screen, that's working. Alright, so again, I'm just hold that down and don't kill it. And for the last one here. Go to House of the Dead 3. I'll launch it. So you can see there it bypassed the loader screen and went straight into the game. So I hit the start button, start button, just do survival mode. You'll see on the left I have some credits, so I'm going to go ahead and press this start button. That's going to pull me in. start to skip that and now I can start blowing these guys away so there's the red gun here's the two player gun and that's it so that's the trick and yes it took me some time and hella form post to get there I'm again I can hold that down do you want to exit and I can just take my gun probably and say yes Anyways, it took a lot of time to get that done. These are um, aim track guns by Arcade Guns. So if you have aim track, that's how you would set it up. I, I, there's not any fancy drivers or anything. It's just mainly as long as you step through all those kind of settings, it should work for you. Um, again, we sell all these parts, and we have blog posts going through this kind of stuff, GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.